So to be honest, I was quite startled when we ran into these, especially after shelling out some of our hard-earned money to buy them. Finding out that they're turning up all over across all of the local flea markets and antique venues is really, honestly, even more disturbing to us. Hey, it's Don. Today I wanted to call some attention to some of the items that are out there right now. Now, I've been into coins for a very, very long time. I've been buying coins for like 25 or 30 years. My father collected them before I was even born, so I had a big in on coins in general. I've been buying them on and off for years. We run into them. If it's a good lot, we do end up buying them. I don't necessarily mess with all the silver coins because I usually pay more than I would want to if I bought them from somebody else. But I do mess with things like this right here. And what this is is a large U.S. one-cent coin. It is everything you would expect in a coin like this in looks and weight and what I would say would be construction as well. Now we bought a bunch of coins, a bunch of different various types, some Chinese dragons, a bunch of other early U.S. ones, including this U.S. three cent piece right here. Some foreign, what I thought would be original actual silver. What we found out later was that a bunch of the ones we purchased from a couple different vendors in different locations were fake. Now these fakes like this one center right here, large U.S. cent, are extremely good. I mean, they, they are identical in almost every single way. Now, I looked for some of these coins online after some suggestions, and I found this exact same one. Not the same year, not a similar model, but it has the same indents and marks on it and the whole works. It was cast, worn intentionally. It has a applied finish, and then it was aged. Totally, totally fake. I've never run into fakes of large pennies. These are like $30, $35 pieces. That's it. That's about all these average for in this rough condition like this one here. So it's not a pricey thing. Some of the other coins like the three center that we got. This is a US three cent. It has the Roman numeral three on the back of it. It's a, not necessarily a super common one, but it's 40 bucks in excellent condition, maybe 90 if you got a tip top one. There are some variants and things like that. I also dug online and ran into some extremely disturbing uh, stuff that we found while trying to figure out about these types of fakes. It's sad enough that they're in every place that we go to, and the potential is they could be all over the country in almost any place that you are shopping at as well. But let's show you the source of these right now, who's making them, and how they're getting here. Now, after looking around for just a few moments, I picked a listing, and it took me to an AliExpress listing. As I looked, I found more and more troublesome things. We're going to show you just a few real quick. Right now, there's pretty much nothing safe in the coin collectibles field at all. There's reproductions of almost every single coin out there now, and they're good reproductions also that would fool the majority of people out there who aren't super deep into coins. Now, just with a quick search in AliExpress, I came up with tons of fake ones out there. Here's a Liberty Eagle silver round. It's supposed to be a one ounce coin. It looks identical, but it's just silver plated. Doesn't say copy. It doesn't say anything else like that. A bunch of them sold. It has good reviews as well. You can even see a bunch that went to the US. So this is just sad, unfortunately, that these are all over the place. I've had some coin dealer shops around here tell me that 75% of what they see online is fake, even on eBay and places like that. Chances are, though, the dealer themselves may not even know that. Digging in, you'll find them slabbed as well and with these promotional cases. Now, this says copy. That word copy is just printed on this image. It is not on the real coin. These are here in town, my area, right now, so I know that's not the case at all. Again, it's fake. It's not real. 99 cents for a silver with the case. I mean, there's just no way. 646 orders with probably multiples on each one. So there could be tens of thousands of these out there. There could be people buying them all the time. It even quotes a super cheap rate with a money back guarantee of 75 day protection from AliExpress. Digging into it, check this one out here. This one looks 
man, this one really looks close to the real deal. They picked an older coin. They made a copy of it. It has imperfections and stuff. So it's not trying to pass itself off as some super, super rare variant or anything else like that. And they're marketing it as an ornamentation, but it is the same size, shape, and everything. It has a silver finish, which is artificially aged the way it looks to me. $1.50 for something that you can easily get 25 or so bucks for, bare bones minimum, just for any common year out there. Now, even worse, if you look around for just a few more moments, they've got pretty much every year of every coin that's even semi-valuable reproduced. It's just crazy. There's 25 different people that bought these. Now, they could have ordered 50 pairs or 50 sets of these. This is for 28 different coins of every year imaginable wise, and they all look super, super good. Commemoratives, error coins, cheaper coins like uh, Mercury Dime for crying out loud, quarters that are reproduction. And this isn't just for US coins either. On top of just the common coins, obviously they are reproducing this rare variant version of this 1878 Morgan. This one also is 90% silver. It's made of the exact composition as the real deal. It's being sold for 50 bucks. It's probably 15 or so dollars at the most worth of, of silver at 90% silver. That's what the coin should be. So even if you took this coin in and had it tested, it's 90% silver. It's correct in every way. You're going to have to have a very good expert to be able to distinguish this silver, solid silver dollar here against the real deal. If this was the real deal, it would be worth tens of thousands of dollars potentially in a superb condition like this one here. Here's another one from a different vendor, and this one's toned. Just a beautiful looking tone job on the, the coloring and the tarnish on it. But once again, it's not the real deal. It's 90% silver. It's an imitation, but it is solid silver from what it looks. 90% silver. This one's even cheaper than the last one. Errors of every type they are recreating as well. This one's a very clear and obvious bogus coin. But again, a, a novice may fall for these any day of the week. Even someone who's a little more experienced, they can mix it in with some other coins. They can say a box lot. You can see them pushed in auctions and things. If you look on eBay for some of these coins I'm showing you right now, you're going to see the exact same coin in every single detail whatsoever. Again, the, the sellers may not know. I'm not going to broadcast and shoot somebody out here as a seller because, again, they may have been fooled themselves. And here's yet another one. Here's one from 1800. Again, the word copy you see in here is just added to the actual photo. It's not on the coin. This one's being sold for 58 cents. And as I said, it's all the way down to pennies. Here's a 1909S. They've got a VDB in here, the whole works. So you can get a whole set of these for a dollar. Four different styles. They do look good. It does look like an aged penny. It has wear to it, not printed perfectly. It has issues. It's identical to other ones you're going to run into because it's copied. It's a molded coin, basically, off of a mold. Probably they have an original one, and they're using that to produce these copies. They look extremely good. So you can see the problem here when they're even counterfeiting pennies. Pennies, for crying out loud. Some of these may sell for hundreds of dollars, but they're counterfeiting items that would only sell for 20, 25 bucks also. Here's a counterfeit Colombian half dollar. Again, it looks good. You can see foreign ones, gold coins, Roman coins of every type and design. Here's a U.S. gold coin. I've had the real one. This looks very good. It looks literally identical to some you'll run into into the wild. There's worn colonial silver coins, worn colonial coppers. So again, you're going to have to be extremely cautious buying any coin anywhere going forward without understanding and knowing the difference. They're making slab versions of these where the entire slab is fake as well. Here's a PCCB, Professional Coin Display Slab. I've seen PSAs as well. Here's a really nice example of another one that is slabbed from uh, Numistical Professional Grading Services with holograms on them. Here's PCGS slabs as well with the holograms on them. The inserts are super easy to print. You can even buy those stickers, the hologram stickers for PSAs and all sorts of different things as well from AliExpress. So it just gets worse and worse the more I look into it. Cheaper ones, more of them, different sizes, different colors. So if you don't know what to look for on anything slab nowadays, it's going to be extremely tough. Who knows what's in there if it's slabbed? 
You can't touch the coin without opening it up as well, too, so be extremely cautious. You can buy the inserts. You can buy the labels for them. Everything is available to buy now. And again, as I said, on top of that, all the foreign coins of any type denomination are being copied as well. Colonial coins. This is supposed to be from 1710. It looks good. It looks good. It's not as worn as some of the ones you'll run, run into but again, most people won't know the difference. It feels right. It looks right. It has everything, even the dimensions. They're even showing you how close it is. They've basically copied the real deal and are pawning them off this way. Now, here's just a quick search of one of the coin shops in general. Look at all of these fakes. Look at the denominations. 1964 half dollars, for crying out loud, they're faking right now. There, there are $10, $15 items. It, it's just crazy that everything out there is being faked and scammed on across the board. But the biggest one here are these US $100 paper bills that look extremely good. They're not just cheapo printed ones also. There are some newer versions down here that you can see also. This one doesn't say copy. It doesn't say anything like that that I can see on it anywhere. Looking at it next to the tape measure, it looks like the right size. So again, this is just outright fakery beyond belief so coin wise we're going to have to be seriously thinking about even messing with coins from anybody that we don't know anymore because now there's no way i can take back the coins that we spent 120 bucks on that turned out to be fake because it's a different state we were out of town when we looked it was a a random stop so who knows if they're even there anymore at all for all i know they were taken as well and just pawned them off or they hadn't a clue that they were fake to begin with the prices weren't too low to make any suspicions or anything else like that they weren't too high either so you're seriously going to have to dig in and think about whether it's safe for you to mess in some of these categories every single place around here has had these turn up not just here Pretty much everywhere I talk to, they've seen some of the fake silver and gold coins popping up as well. So they're anywhere. It could be other resellers doing it as well. There could be trade deals where they throw them in big bulk auctions of coins and stuff where they throw some good coins in and then a bunch of bad ones. Either way it goes, this is not good. This is extremely upsetting to see people flooding the markets with these crap fake coins and money in general well that's about it for today hopefully that gave you some ideas some thoughts if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button down below you can also hit the bell icon to be notified if i post new content or go live subscribe and tell all your friends